It's understanding that, yes, you can use the statistical econometrics tool to you know, answer important social questions, do policy evaluation, um, you know, be able to provide answers, be able to communicate these answers to policymakers, and, and sometimes be influential enough, and if, if that's your taste, you really try to be in charge of you know, implementing these policies. So when I think about the part of economics that really resonates with me, it is really truly that part. So I'll give you one example of something that I think has been very useful. Essentially, a question goes every Sunday to, I don't know, maybe like 30 different economists throughout the country. And it's always a question that's inspired, you know, by the moment. It's a question on like views on Brexit or views on the role of corporation society and whether we're better off with corporations only maximizing profits or, you know, kind of whether raising minimum wage will destroy jobs. That, that has been a very simple exercise, but it's been extremely useful in fighting some of the views that may exist out there, which is that, you know, economists don't agree with each other, with no clear views about what's right or wrong. These simple surveys has been an important part of the conversation in newspapers and, you know, potentially also influencing, you know, influencing policies. In many ways, I think we write journal articles. We don't write them to be, you know, very digestible. Uh, there's lots of work that could be done, is being done. I've been trying to translate these articles into something that you know can be more widely, uh, more widely shared. I think this, this business of trying to translate the research into a simpler media, a simpler form, is, is, is really important. We should do more of that.